Should be live. I'm just double checking. <laughs> I'm always like this when I stream. I'm always like, am I live? I don't know. I'm alive. I'm not sure. Low power. Please chop. Ready for the power off. Power off. Power off. Okay. I think we're up. I think we're up. I think we're up. So bear with me two seconds. Let me just get a few things sorted out. As per usual. Um, let's do that. Let's get that up there. I'm just getting the chat up so I can see you guys. Sup, Maxwell. How you doing, buddy? How are you? How are you? Let's get this over here so I can see everything. Man, I really need to go dual monitor. Like, I don't have dual monitor. I just have everything on one screen. So I really need to go dual monitor so I can see what's going on with the stream and stuff um, on the side. Cass, is it Cassie or Cass? I'm not sure. Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, Brainy XS as well. How are you doing? How are you? I hope you're well. Um, I just want to make sure everything's fine. I think everything's looking pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. We're going to be uh, messing around here with some uh, decks and stuff, seeing what we can do. Uh, having you guys help out would be absolutely awesome. Let me just make sure I've got this in the check as well. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So I kind of want, just to keep you guys updated, I, I kind of want to build a, a fire-like deck. Um, not specifically fire though, but I, I was just looking at some cards and thinking, what could we really mess around with that fire type that could make a good video in the future? So like, here's an example. This Moltres could be fun. Oh, water. I'll jump into water. Um, I'll definitely jump into water. Let's let's do some water. All right. So we'll go for some water instead. Um, but the things of water, though, you have to avoid just going for a bog standard Quagsire list. Now, this is a deck I'm working on already. So that's something that I've pretty much got on the sidelines. But I want to do something we could do. <laughs> we could do the Rock, Paper, Scissors deck. You're going to play Rock, Paper, Scissors if you win the 61 time. <laughs> we are. We could do that. That, that. that does seem fun, but a bit stupid at the same time. I like this Greninja um, with the one from... Um, the Greninja from... Detective Pikachu. Because that, that does a similar thing. It prevents damage. Um, what does this Gold Duck do? If your opponent's, uh, opponent's Pokemon has any water energy attached to it, you may do 90 more damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Nah, that's too risky. That's too risky. That's relying on something that's just not worthwhile. Um, Gyarados, everyone knows about. Articuno, everyone knows about. Everyone knows about this Slow King. What does this Lapras do? Okay, not particularly great. Happy delivery. Choose any number of, of, of your bench Pokemon that don't already have a Pokemon tool. For each of those Pokemon, search your deck for Pokemon tool card and attach it to them. Ooh. That could be a good, like, starter Pokemon for tool drop. Or oh, we could do tool drop. Okay, that's that's in my mind as well. What's this? If this Pokemon has any energy attached, it has no retreat cost. Uh, just straight standard Pokemon there. Nothing crazy. The sweet one, I think, is... It is active. You may have your opponent switch. That's kind of cool. That could be a good tech in a, in a Quagsire deck, no? Like, you could just promote that whenever a Pokemon's KO'd and kind of just force them to switch a Pokemon. That would be cool with its ability. So that could be, like, a little secret hidden tech card that no one's really looked at. Uh, Karim. Slowbro from Unbroken Bonds, just for the memes. Oh, I don't have any, but I can get some. I think we should do that. Let's do some Slowbro. I have one. So if I just get... I, I can trade. I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got some stuff to trade. Let's do Slowbro. Let's do Slowbro. As you're right. Yeah, just, just for the memes. Let's meme it out. Let's meme it out. Uh, let's do that. The search engine is so quite... So so annoying. Okay, I'm getting... And I'm, no, not Unified Minds. I'm Broken Bonds. Let's let it load. That would be fun. Sweet Conjects. I have played Sweet Conjects. And it's pretty fun. Um, it's really tanky. I would say. And I guess it would be good in this current meta with everything there is. Um, there is a deck that I really want to upload soon. I just haven't got the cards for it just yet. But it is one of the decks that came, I believe it was top, was it top 8 or top 16? or I think it was top 8. It was a Quagsire deck, but it was, it was so interesting. It was a Quagsire box deck, so it had Quagsire. But it had things like Reshirad in it. It had uh, Baldwell, it had Suicune in it. It had just a ton of stuff, and it just used unit energies um, and rainbow energies um, to accelerate the energy around and, and move stuff around. And it could really work. You can pretty much use a um, Boswell GX and effectively give it, a, sorry, Ferramosa and Boswell GX, give it free retreat because a rainbow energy can count 
as a darkness energy, so you could play Ultra of the Moon to give it free retreat. So you could retreat, um, bring all that energy up to the um, active buzzword that you've retreated into, um, max potion and heal your bench damage buzzword, and use Elegant Soul every single turn for 190 damage. You can loop that. You can use Reshiraz attack, as I just said. Um, it, there's just so much potential for that deck. And of course, the Suicune is used in that deck to um, counter... Uh, playing against the Reshirad, and of course you can switch it on the bench and heal it off whenever you want, pretty much, and get rid of it. So um, it's it's kind of crazy. Okay, so why is it saying there's no trades found? I'm getting a slow bro from Unbroken Bonds. That shouldn't come up with any issues. It shouldn't. It really shouldn't. So I'm a bit confused there. I'm pretty sure I'm spelling slow bro right. <laughs> Yeah? Pretty sure I'm spelling that correctly. Um, let's see if it loads again. This, this is what I don't like about this. Sometimes it, this, it can take so long just to get a simple trade going. Um, but yeah, the Suicune deck is really cool. I might have to look it up quickly now that I'm here. Um, where is it? So I think it's uh, Quagsire deck NAIC. I think it was played in the NAIC. No, 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 no. It was showcased by Little Dark Fury, who I'm getting up now so that you probably hear him. Um, where's the list? He has the list. Okay, so I can get the list up as well, but we'll definitely see if we can get the cards for that. Um, come on. Is it loading? Still not loading. It's what I'm not happy with. I'm not happy with this. Uh, Tina Tag with Esper is my got-to-go deck at the moment. Esper is so good versus Tag Teams, and no one is playing it. Tina Tag? Tina Tag? I'm assuming you mean... The Cataday deck? Tina Tag isn't ringing a bell for me, sorry. Um, right, let's just refresh the whole thing. There we go. Bruh! You played White Curum at Santa Clara. How did that go? How did it go? How about I just type slow? See, now it's just not working. Okay, slow, and then I type bro. It's not working. I am getting. Is that going to work? Okay, so... There it is. Wow, that's a lot for just two unbroken bonds, isn't it? That's pretty decent. <laughs> um, I think we might do that. Elio shouted me out. Pretty nice. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Pretty glad he shouted you out. Yeah, Esper is a powerhouse. Very underrated. I would agree. I've tried Esper out myself. It's actually pretty, pretty strong. Pretty strong. Um, just trying to find out what would be the best trade here. I think this is the best one. We get two of those slow bros. Two of the meme bros. That would be good. Yeah, let's let's do let's do let's accept this trade. I'm I'm pretty comfortable with that. Let's just go for it. Let's do it. It gives us our slow bros so we can mess around. Three 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 line, I assume. I also like playing Suicune with Quagsire and Aganado combo. You can retreat every turn. So Brainy, I'm assuming you're you're talking about the one that I've been talking about, which is the one that Little Dark Fury mentioned. I think I have it copied here actually. Um it's this list, isn't it? I haven't got all the cards for it, but it's this particular list. And it's extremely good. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll work on that another time. All right, so let's get this Slowbro deck going. Slowbro. Yeah, bro. Let's get a slow poke. And it, this has to be... I know I did say we don't really want to go for um, a Quagsire deck, but this has to be Quagsire, right? You have to be able to charge this up. So we're, we're going we're gonna to Quagganadal this bad boy up. I was going to type Quagganadal there. Uh, I think we go for two Quagsires. Wooper. Uh, we get Ditto in here. We could tech the other, the, the fighting Quagsire as well to mess around a bit. Let's get two Naganadals. We don't need to go crazy with these. I would say. Is there anything you guys would say I should throw into this deck? Well, now that I'm building it, I'll, I'll wait a second and catch up with you guys as well in the chat. Um, Malamar Giratina with all spell tags get 90 damage on the bench. Reshirad and Espo, uh, and knock it out. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So you heal every damage every turn. No, it's not this. I only attack with Suicune. No other Pokemon. I accept one Lapras. Okay, so specifically a, lap, um, a Suicune deck rather than a toolbox. Build a weird non GX Ultra Beast box with the Grass Cartana and other weird Ultra Beasts. Oh, that could work. That could work. A channel called Bell Curve Gaming, okay, used Esper in a wheezing deck. He oh, that could be a kind of a, 
an interesting idea. He wrecked two Vesha rods with it. That is cool. I'll definitely check that out. And of course, if I do make a deck in it, of course I give him a shout out. And to you, Ryan, as well, for bringing that forward. I like Kurem deck, Akartana and Zapdos for Arceus. Why Kurem is, is dope. I think people are sleeping on that a little bit. Victini from Guardians Rising. What are you referring to? For coin flips. Maybe Articuno to prevent Guzma. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. I think we'll have to just have the room for one. My concern now is no real draw support on the bench. So no Marshadows or no Leleys as such. We need Victini. That's what you're saying, Maxwell, isn't it? Yep. We do need Victini. We do need Victini. Thank you. Thank you, Maxwell. Um... I'm, uh, I'm going to call you Max, if that's all right with yourself. I feel like we have to remove the Naganeros. There's too many Pokemon here. Um, put a Volcanium Prism in the deck. Blissey Welder. That I'm going to definitely uh, go to as well. I'm not forgetting that one. 13th. What do you mean, buddy? What do you mean? Also, hi, everyone. <laughs> if, if, you welcome, if you come to the stream and haven't said hi, hi. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to focus on the deck right now and, and figure out what we can do. Um... I'm working on post rotation using deck. Post rotation. Guys, let me know your thoughts on post rotation. What deck do you think will be the best deck of post rotation? My opinion is probably going to be Malamar Giratina. Um, I might have to remove the Naganados. I don't like there being so much Pokemon. Unless we go for a kind of a Pokecom type deck, which does exist. Uh, I think we can stick with this for now. We just need to Aqua Patch, I guess, and... So it's, it's free tails. Uh, is Choice Band going to be that relevant in this deck? So I'm contemplating playing. Um, well, we could. Okay, let's. I think we stick with this. But I'm worried about. Volcanium. Yes, Volcanium. Yes, 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 yes. You are correct. Volcanium. Volcanium. Thank you. I think we stick with that. Right? Everyone, everyone happy with that? Everyone happy with this so far for the Pokemon line? I think it's good. Reshirad followed by Picarom. So you can discard uh, more energy. I think people are sleeping on Garveon. Garveon? What is that? Garveon. God of Sylveon. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, Alright. So what should be our tactic for getting these Pokemon out? Should it be Brooklet Hill? I think Brooklet Hill will be the way to go. Kind of Brooklet Hill slash ne ne uh, Nest Ball. Four Poke Gear, yeah, I was thinking of Poke Gear. Um, you guys are kind of seeing how I go about building my decks. So, first, I'll start off with the main Pokemon stuff, and then I'll figure out how we're getting them out. So, Brooklet Hill. I'm definitely going to Brooklet. We could Shrine, but I think Brooklet would be just a more consistent. And maybe two Nest. I might have to reduce to one Nest Ball, depending on how the deck sorts, out, sorts itself out. Uh, then, just po general Pokemon search. So, I guess we could Ultra Ball. Four? We could do three and go for like a Pokemon communication. So what you'll notice as well is I'm going to throw a ton of stuff in here and we'll end up cutting it down. Um, Poke Gear, as you said. Yep, I think that's going to be a critical one. Let's just get our main draw supporter in there. So there's Cynthia. And I'd say Lily would be would be best. Maybe two Lily, two Erika's. Mm. We're just going to throw them in and see how it goes. Uh, three Guzmas. Because I doubt we can have much space for any more. Pika pads. Ah, oh, yeah. Pika pads would be alright. Elm's Lecture. Elm's Lecture could be the way. But my concern is a 70 HP Slowpoke and a 70 HP Wooper. Um, Elm won't get those. And a 70 HP. Yeah. I don't think it will work, I'm afraid. Elm's would be good, but it's just the HP is too too high. Um... It seems like we've got our Essentials. So we've got our ball search, we've got our kind of setup, we've got our supporters out of the way. So let's get some retreat options. So I'd say a switch. We could actually use switch raft. But considering we're playing Victini, if Victini's trapped in the active and we need to retreat it, I guess it's more safe just playing switch. Or we could just play a skateboard. We could just play a skateboard. Four Victinis. It could just be. It's a bit risky, but I think we can do that. Cyrus Prism. You 
personally prefer to run a 3 3 Naga line. We're going to try it without it. Um, I think only two Guzmans are right because of Volcanion. That's a good shout. I agree with that. Crushing Hammer for fun. Could do that. But I don't think it really stays in line with what we're trying to do. Um, let's get Choice Band in. Is Choice Band relevant? Let's find out if Choice Band is relevant first. Because we have no tools and tools can be useful. Tip 3 coins says 100 for each heads. If all of them are tails, you lose the game. Alright, so Choice Band could be very relevant. It can determine, let's say if you're up against a Gardevoir GX, it can, it can determine a one-shot away from, yeah, okay. That's Pokemon, Sean, what are you doing? Choice band, I'd say. We maybe throw two of them, not going to be that critical. Tate and Liza gives you two options. Oh, we could Tate and Liza, that's true. We could Tate and Liza. I've seen people play that card. Um... Yeah, I'm thinking we can throw that in there. Do we replace it for an Erica or a Lily, or? So I'm just trying to think of cards that could really help in this particular deck. Do I think could help? I think just a copy of Viridian Forest would really help as well. If we're struggling to get energy going, um, it could really help. Wondrous Labyrinth? No, that's just too much for us. Oh, what's going on there? Don't forget Aqua Patch. Ha ha! See? Knew I was forgetting something. Aqua Patch. I think that could work. So, what time is it here? It is currently 1.24 p.m. for me. 1.24. And the prize, you need a rescue stretch. Oh, rescue stretch, you are correct. Let's get rescue stretch in here as well. But again, we're just going to throw them in and then we're going to cut down where we can. So, in that case, I might drop a, a Pokecom. And nope, not saving. What else are you guys saying? So Tate and Liza, I might throw in just to mess around. I might replace that with Erica, because Erica can sometimes be a stick, kind of a stepping stone to cross over. Whereas Tate and Liza is at least a guarantee. Um, and I think that'd be it. No, eight twenty-five a.m. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Um. And one escape board and put two Tate and Liza. So you say one Erica and one escape board, you'd say. All right. So that way we get... Okay, I get, I get what you're saying. A bit more consistent, right? I get you. I get you. I agree with that play. I agree with that. 525. Very... I'm assuming that's in the morning. If that's very early, then... Oh, my God. Um, are you from England? I am indeed. I am indeed from England. 825 a.m. in Georgia, U.S. Georgia, U.S. Well, hello. Hello from England. Um, I think this is looking pretty good. I think 10 water energy would be, which well, it should suffice, sorry. Kind of liking how this is turning out. Um, should we go? I think 10 energy would be fine. I think 10 energy would be good. I think it'd be good enough to obtain, be good enough to allow us to use this ability a bit more consistently. Um, allow us to get energy in play. See, I really want, nah, want to get EXP share. I do want to get EXP share as well. But I think that is more just of a privilege. Let's just stick with what we got. Um... You guys have definitely helped out with that one. And I think this could be a little bit of fun. Right, let's go for the memes. Let's go for the... Ah, I've got the rescue stretcher. Yes, let's go for the meme, bro. Get the memes, bro. Ah, I'm not really bothered about the deck box or anything right now. Let's just let's just jump into the memes. Morning, morning. 2.26 for you. Whereabouts are you? 2.26. This one. Oh, so you're... I'm assuming you are... Somewhere in Eastern Europe, if I'm correct. James Bitching. Yes, my favorite YouTuber <laughs> is from the same country as I'm from. Hello, fellow British man. I say it's very, very good. Very good. Uh, and I appreciate your compliment. Thank you. Um, let's get this going, boy. Let's get this deck playing. Right, where's the... Where is it? Meme, 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 bro. Meme, bro. Meme, bro. What do you think about two Brooklyn Hills and one Viridian Forest? Ooh. Let's try this out, and then I think... Yeah, we're going to do no Naganados for now. I think it might make it a bit too clunky. But if we do struggle with getting energy into play and stuff quickly, then I'll, I'll go to Naganados. You're from Switzerland. Ah, dope. Dope stuff. Hello from Belgium. Hello, Sun Sun. It's uh, uh, 227. I was going to say 427. 227 for you. Okay, sweet. Yeah, we'll start with that. That Vulcanian. I don't mind building that up and just doing a bit of spread damage. 
I wonder what we're up against here. Oh, I wonder if we're playing Garbion. Huh? No, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm happy that I'm seeing memes. <laughs> What's better is it's live. And I requested it. <laughs> Max, we must just take over the stream, buddy. <laughs> 8.30 a.m. here. Across the pond. Across the pond. I mean, assuming you are... If it's 8.30 a.m., that is, what, five hours back, isn't it? Can I do my maths correctly? I don't know. I'm going to stop there before I go and say something stupid. Um... Do I go for Jet Geyser? It's not really that important. They're just going to promote this, and then it just gives them a free retreat so they can go for the Beacon, which is probably what they want to do. So let's not give them what they want. Uh, let's Cynthia. Let's Cynthia. Oh, Wishful Baton would really help. Maybe we can replace the um, the choice bands of Wishful Batons. That would be really good. Okay, that's a really awkward hand to go about and discard. Um... But I do want to get a slow poke down. And I want to save an Ultra Ball for next turn. Might have to cut the Guzma. Probably the Aqua Patch. And let's get a slow poke down, let's see. Oh, we could get the Ditto down in case they take out the Wooper. Are they doing any damage that would... Uh, take out the ditto instead of the slowpoke. I don't think they are. No. Considering the deck we're up again. Funnily enough, is it weird that I mentioned in case we come up against a guard of our GX, we need the choice band to hit the relevant numbers and then we come up against guard of our GX. It's typical, huh? Typical. Typical stuff. But yeah, I think that's the, 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 the right play. So this is why I really want just a Pokemon that can add some extra draw support. I might throw just a, just a cheeky little Marshadow in there because next turn I'm kind of stuck. Unless I top deck out of it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So. But then this is just a one-off case. We have to play a few games before we really determine how it's going to work out. Yep. See, Sidro, you're with me, buddy. You're on the same wavelength as me. And Marshadow, just, just, for, those, just for those scenarios. Oranguru, not so bad. Yeah, that's true. Oranguru, not so bad. But what I like about Marshadow is uh, your ability to... Kind of limit your opponent as well. If they've got a big hand. Hey, Lemon, Lemon Man. Lima Man. Lima Man. Lima Man. Lima 12. Haven't seen me live or you can see me now, buddy. <laughs> Hope you are well. Hope you are well. Can more decks be good post rotation? Uh... Oh, I don't know. There's no real. Okay, when, when deciding if a deck is going to be good post rotation, what really comes to mind first is is there any search for them? Can you search Pokemon? Because. What's going to be so critical is being able to search a Pokemon because that's just that's consistency, right? So with what decks, there's no real card that would allow you to search them out above things like um, Pokemon communication and stuff, which is going to be quite tough. I just I just can't imagine a format without Ultra Ball. It's just crazy. Um, no, I don't think there's anything. I'd say Naganadol's good because you have the uh, Ultra Space and you have Mysterious Treasure. So I guess that makes it less uh, clunky in that sense when I think about it. I haven't put too much thought into how Quagnag would do post rotation. I think it would do okay. I think it would do okay, but you'd need a ton of like... Um, Pokemon communication, definitely some Pokecoms. You definitely need Pokecoms to work with that. All right, what do we get? Nada. I clicked done by accident. <laughs> All right, we're just going to stick with what we're going. This is kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, Old Space can definitely get the Quagnegs going. Oh, my God. Hmm. I mean, what can Old Triple get us? It can get us to Slowbro, which would be dope. It can get us to Quagsire. Yeah, you can't Elm in Quagnag, I'm afraid. Um, this is just another pass. That's bad. I don't want to get rid of the Aqua Patches. Um, and there's really no need to go for the Slowbro or anything. It'll just get carried by this anyway if they get it out. Um, morning, Ian. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? Literally just woke up. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah. 
Isidro, if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, you are right. You can use Mysterious Treasure and stuff to get that. Yeah, there we are. Good stuff. See, now I'm a bit more comfortable going for the discards. Yeah, I don't want to get two Aquapatches down so I can get the slow bro out. Let's go for the memes, bruh. Ebenezer Fozu, if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you are well. Hope you are well. Okay. Ah, mm, beautiful stuff. Okay. Uh, Greed Town? Do we go to Greed Town with the Volcanian or do we just assume they've got a retreat next turn? They could go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. They could, they could do triple colorless energy as well. Oh, I do not like that idea one bit. <clears throat> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna attach to this and just we could jet guys up, but that's bad. We don't want them to to, to retreat. In my opinion, Pico is the best deck after rotation because of Cherish Ball and Electromagnetic Radar. Uh, also, the new Raichu alone and Raichu Tag Team GX helps with hitting bigger numbers. True. Um, yes, you've just figured out what I'm playing. We are playing the memes, boy. We're doing the memes. Um, say thanks to Maxwell for that one. Yes. See, this is the thing with. That being the case, with Cherish Ball, there's going to be a lot more GX stuff. Would that in turn make Rogue decks, so counter GX decks or anti-tag team decks a bit better? Because if it's going to be so dominant in the meta because of its consistent search, is it something that um, can be countered? And that's where Giratina Malamar would come into play. Because it'd be a non-GX deck which has as much consistency as these GX decks. Alright, Erica, coming at the best possible time. Best possible time. Guys, are you ready for the meme? Are you ready? Are you ready for the meme? Here we go. I wish these Victini's abilities could stack. Alright. Here we go. I think we're going to throw another Weeper down just in case they take ours out. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, meantime, we're going to one-shot your Gardevoir. It's going to happen. Ready? One. No. Two. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Do we flip again? We got too much damage. I think we just stick with it, you know? Let's stick with it. Let's stick with it. I think let's... Okay, look. I want to be a bit risky, but at the same time, I kind of want to win. So let's not risk it for a biscuit. And that is where a choice ban would have been incredibly relevant. But we still hit 200 damage, which means we can KO it later on. Okay, that's fine. That's fine by me. But what are the actual odds, by the way, of getting six... Six tails, right? Because you have to get six tails to lose. I don't think the odds are that... Uh, bad. Alright, um, we may have to attack with Quagsire if we get it out. We could goose with them and trap them, but then we wouldn't make any progress, so that's not a good idea. Matt, where are the Quagsires? They are just not coming out today. Alright, um... <laughs> I'm gonna hold these choice bands and retreat into this Victini so we can keep the one with the... Yeah. Okay. Risk it for a biscuit. Next time, John Wood, I will indeed risk it for a biscuit. I don't have any biscuits. That's a shame. Um, yeah, the Malamar Weezing deck could be good as well. Right. In fact, Weezing is pretty good in both rotation, isn't it? Now that I think about it. Um, give me the quag. I want the quag. Give me the quag. Come on. Hit me with it. Hit me with the quag. Wow. Okay, sure. Oh my god, this is not good. Uh, the quags are sitting there, man. The quags are right there, boy. They right there. Let's uh, let's just fail this, I guess. No, we could thin our deck down, I guess. That could be something we could do. Fine, you can have this slow, bro. This is bad. This is bad. Consistency issues. We need something a bit more consistent than what we've got. Definitely. What we could do is we could actually just cut the Poke Gears and go for a 2-2 two -two Zep Striker line. We could do that. And that would really boost his consistency. I think the other six actually one is 16. 0 0.01%. Is that true? I don't know if I believe you, son, son. I don't know if I believe you. Hmm. One is 16, I think. Wait. Because it's there's 50% per, per coin flip. And then you're flip, flipping six times. So wouldn't you divide 50 by six? Watch. Okay. I'm not even going to try and do mathematics, okay? 
<laughs> nah, no PTC Joe. Odds are irrelevant. You have a very good point. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Why don't I just ask? Why don't I just Google it? When Google answer the question, <laughs> uh, what are the odds of getting six tails in a row on a coin flip? Google, answer my question. The odds are. Wait. So suppose you flip it three times and these flips are independent. What is the probability of it? Then tails and then heads up. Oh wait, no. I can't find it. I can't find it. Someone did say what the odds of doing seven in a row. In that case, I think it's like ridiculously low. But I think the odds are quite low. Let's just say odds are low. That's that's what we know. That's what we know. That's what we're going to stick with. Uh, I'm going to go rescue stretcher a slow bro out here. Because if we get a quag out, we can actually just slow bro this turn. So let's 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 do that. And I'm, I'm going to get the one without the choice ban. Because it's going to go down. All right. Quagsire, come forth! Oh my... Ah. What is this? I feel betrayed by my own deck! The odds! Oh my god, the odds are, are forever not in my favour. I could really just rain splash. <laughs> like, I could be super greedy and just rain splash this thing. But I just lose all the energy. It's just not worth it, man. Oh... Uh, what's going on with our aqua patches? <laughs> no, this isn't good. I could genuinely rain splash for KO, but ah, uh, yikes. Three six nine. Okay, I'm gonna promote slow bro. Yeah, you got to attach an energy to that just to get it KO'd now. There are four outcomes, and you can flip twice, four times four. That's why I think it could be wrong. <laughs> I honestly think of it, it could be wrong. I guess it wasn't that easy. Um, bring in the horse. I want the horse! What horse? Um, this is just some bad luck, isn't it? This, this... Uh, yeah, yeah. Hi! Good to see you, buddy! It's not like I've been eating this whole time. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, forgive me. All right. Meme time! Even though we're losing, it's still meme time. Time to go. All right. Click done. Don't end my turn. Good stuff. Ooh, 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 I'm ready for the meme. Okay, our deck's looking kind of kind of scarily bad. Three strikes. One, two. Ah, ah, we would have lost. Unless we get free again. Oh, my God. <gasps> I got a bit scared there. <laughs> what are the odds of hitting five? 1.5% hmm? if you're correct. Okay, but that, that got a bit scary. I'm not going to lie. Although it is now game over, I'm afraid. And three things, nine, nine, nine. Yeah, it's game over already. All right, well played. Bye bye. Let's 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 fix this deck. Let's fix this deck. I think getting rid of the Pokecoms because they didn't really seem to be too impactful there, and going for a, a Zep Striker line, which is kind of scary because we are going to go up to twenty Pokemon, um, which would mean that I think we. Go for another Pokemon communication. Drop a booklet hill. Um, we could drop an Erica and throw in that Viridian Forest um, to guarantee energy. Although energy didn't seem to be a problem. 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. If it's 0 0.5 times... Wait, what? I'm a believe you, buddy. I'm a believe you. Um... So I'm gonna throw in a Zeb Striker line, and I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna do that, and then get one Blitzel in because we got the Ditto. So and do that. That's 19 Pokemon, and let me throw in the Viridian like that. That looks a bit better, right? That was tough finding Quagsire. Did I put Wishful? No, I did not. Time to throw in the Wishful Baton. Wishful Baton. Oh. Enjoy, Zach. Uh, I will get to you in a second, buddy. I will get to you in a hot sec. There we go. Let's check that out. That's looking really dang good. Crash Awake could be good, but I'm a bit scared of that. I'll be honest with you. What's this? Oh, that's the trade I've just done, right? 
Let's go to trades because I think I'm not sure who enjoys Zaki. Oh, Zach, Zaki, Zaki boy. You barely play PTC Joe anymore, huh? Oh my god, <laughs> Zach, you are a maniac. Um, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's gonna buff out the deck, make it look all splicey nice. I really appreciate it, man. I really do appreciate it, buddy. I will definitely give you a shout in the next video for helping out. So, do not be uh, concerned about that one. Thank you, man. Thank you. Right, are we ready for another meme, bro? In fact, I'm gonna throw in that extra Cynthia and Liddy because uh, Zach is such a kind and generous person. Let's get another Cynthia in there. Ah, oh, so kind. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. And we'll get the other Lily as well. Let's do that. Thank you so much, Zach. Genuinely appreciate that, man. All right, four ultra, three nest, two calm. I know what a lad, buddy. What a lad. What a lad. Um, four ultra, three nest, two calm. So would you say? But if we throw in three nest, we're gonna have to cut something else out. What would it be? The Brooklet Hill. It's a Zora Ninja deck coming, my guy. The Zora Ninja deck is coming. I am working on one. I am working on a pretty fun one, actually. Um, I believe I uploaded one relatively recently. Did I? Or did I not? Let me just check. Let me just make a quicker checker. I have not. Okay, so yeah, I've definitely worked on a Zora Ninja deck, and that is complete. So I will upload that probably. Could be today. I haven't done a video today yet, so I could do that today. I thought I uploaded it, but I didn't. Yeah, that's fine. Zora Ninja will come out today, buddy. We'll come out straight for ya. Um, no strip. I uh, haven't played. Let me just start searching now uh, while we're here. That's always my favorite content creator, so figure the best person. <laughs> Zach, you're just too kind, man. Thank you so much, man. Genuinely, thank you. Um, it really does make things really nice when playing, and it's really cool. Um, you guys are just so blessed. So blessed. I really appreciate it, man. Wouldn't have it any other way. Um, all right. Let's get this going. Let's see how this works. This would have been a good hand if we had a starter Pokemon. But, oh well. So be it. So be it. Let's see. So we're up against Reshiva by the looks of it, which would be kind of fun. Thank you, Isidro. Isidro. <laughs> so I hope I'm pronouncing it right, man. I hate pronouncing people's names wrong because I feel so. I feel so evil. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh, I do. I do feel so bad. Oh gosh. Um. Oh, it's rest of our time. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, I, you know, I was so hyped for the deck. As soon as you gave me those Zora Ninjas, I went straight into it. I went straight into it, and I've actually got a deck that is just really powerful, and it's really good. You can you can hit some crazy numbers with Zora Ninja turn two, right? It's pretty darn good, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I have two types of Zora Ninja decks. Um, I'm going to be uploading both of them at uh, different times, obviously. I think one would be today, and then the other will be probably next week. And they both have unique strategies that I have. Okay, I'd say the, the second one has a strategy that I haven't seen on YouTube myself. But bear in mind, I don't watch every YouTuber, so I'm not going to say that I'm the first to do it. But I haven't seen it myself yet. So there's another Zora Ninja I've got in mind. And it is standard. It's not even expanded. I know expanded Zora Ninja is just crazy. Um, all right, let's get probably the Wooper out. I'm not going to lie. I think it'd be kind of smart here. I don't want to get rid of the Rescue Strike. I want to get rid of a Zev Striker and that and get a Blitzel out. I think the Zev Striker is something that is just going to help us so much. And I'm glad we get to get to do it as well. All right, um, and let's just click done. We are going to get taken out pretty much right away here, which is a bit of a shame, but this is a decent matchup for us. Pretty good pronunciation, thank you. <laughs> How would I go about sending you a deck list so you could try out offline? I'm not sure how you'd send it particularly offline. You can join my Discord and, and send it into the deck list suggestions there. You can just, um, I think that'd be the best way to do it. Yeah, would be the best way. Um, do I have the Denny GX? I do indeed. I don't know if it's good, but I opened a few of the new packs of fun. I have two actually. Oh, that's awesome, bro. Uh, the Denny is like a staple right now, so, but I do have some. Um, let's get the Victini out. Let's not play any stupid games here. See, look, this Zip Striker is already having a good impact. Draft it, Mark. How are you doing, buddy? I'm just going to call you Mark. 
I think I said it every single time. I just don't like being rude. <laughs> uh, or coming across as rude, at least. Um, I love road decks and would love to see them showcase because I don't have the means to do so. Buddy, I am perfectly fine with showcasing some of your lists. So long as it works. Right. So that's a striker isn't glitched. Do you play the card game in real life? I wish. I genuinely wish I could. Um, all right, let's get... We could, we, could, we could get Quag out. We could get Quag out. But in all honesty, I'm a bit concerned. Because we have to... Re yeah, we're going to have to retreat the Wooper. And just... We just, we're just not getting an attack off. But we do have the Aqua Patch to work around it. So that's fine. I will just evolve. Stay put. Next turn we have chances to get things going. So let's let's stick with that. Uh, join us at Discord. My dude, yes. I really need to be more active on Discord. Um, it's just something. I don't have my Discord open all the time. I don't have it as automatic opening when I launch my computer. So sometimes I just forget to open a Discord. But it is important. So... I will have that in mind. Right, they're probably going to get a KO here, considering their confidence in that Guzma play. I'm assuming they got DCE straight away to go. Um, I highly doubt they'll be that confident in, in guzma this up and leaving it without attacking. So, I tend to test out my decks for consistency for tons of games. I wouldn't send you a crappy list. That's all good for me, buddy. That's all good with me. Oh, they're going to go for the retreat. Okay, I guess that makes sense. And they drop the Dene themselves. Yikes! This is bad. This is very bad. Because we're losing our Quaggy. We're losing our Quaggy boys. Alright. What do I promote? Probably another slow poke. These cards are too valuable to leave behind. We can still get an attack off this turn. So I'm not that worried. We just need an energy form of retreats. You know... There's things we can do. Let's thin the deck down. Let's get Volcanion out. That could be good. Uh, let's Aqua Patch to the Slowpoke. In case we don't get a Quagsire out. Now, Zip Striker, bless me with some draw. I need some draw support. Ah! Not really what I was looking for. Um, am I missing out on something here at all? I'm not sure if I am. I am not sure. So I don't want to evolve this and then attach the energy and leave it. Because that just says, like, KO me. I'm a threat. And they're going to Guzma and then KO it. So I'm kind of worried about that. But let's just... I think we just have to anyway. Uh, and the thing is, if I force them to switch, then I'm actually helping them. So the Jet guys is not good. Um, not at all. The Ultra Ball could get Quagsire out. But then we can't attack. Um... Without the need of an energy next turn. I think that's the best play. What is your favorite deck at the moment? Oh, oh, that's so that's actually a really tough question to answer. I think it would be the deck I uploaded yesterday, would, would be the Umbreon deck. I think that would be my favorite deck right now. Because just for some reason it's so powerful. <laughs> Sorry, Shane. I'm sorry, man. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> How's work, though? How's work? I hope I hope it's going well. I hope it's fine. And uh, don't get caught. All right? Don't get in trouble. Um, I share the opinion with you. Meta decks are kind of a snore. That being said, Mew Mew gets me extremely excited and that card will destroy. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I Yeah, I think you see where I'm coming from in that. I think... The, the format is becoming a bit more fresh. I think post-rotation is going to be really exciting. Um, because you're just going to see... Like a crazed <laughs> format in Worlds. You know, it's going to be like, post-rotation, then Worlds. And everyone's going to be like, oh my god, what, what do we do? So, there's an, obviously a lot of prep for post-rotation. We did get the win there, I believe. So, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll roll up another one. So, I think a lot of people are panicking for the post-rotation. No one knows how it's going to go. So, I think the Worlds tournament is just going to be incredible for viewership. I think there's just going to be a lot of stuff um, unseen that are just going to come forward and, you know, take everyone by surprise, which always makes the format fresh, um, as every rotation does. Every rotation really freshens out the format a little bit. But, yeah, I think the meta usually does become a bit stale over time because what tends to happen is with a post-rotation or with a new set coming out, 
you know, the main cards in the set have already been revised in the past by people before the set is released. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get Vitini out. Uh, before I finish my point, I want to make this turn. Lily's kind of bad here, so I'm going to go for Cynthia. Um, so, at that point, people start to really narrow down what cards are good and what cards aren't good. Um, competitively speaking, and then it becomes quite stale because everyone's playing kind of the same stuff, technically, in a tournament. Which is why I get so excited when I see some wacky deck come up um, in a tournament. So when you see... Um, I've got, his, I've got his name, which is just really wrong with me, but the uh, Meganian Stage 2 deck, that was just crazy. Um, right, so we could... Uh, Poke come here. We could definitely do that. Get a slow poke out. That's possible. It's a greedy play, though. Oh, thank you, buddy. Um... Or do we kind of just stay a bit consistent and blitzel here just in case? I think we stay safe. We've got Cynthia, so we're not, not in big Shintaro! That's it. That is it. I feel so bad for forgetting that, man. Um, such a dope. Such a dope uh, deck builder. Um, I want to get this Wooper out of the active, you know? But it just ain't happening. Mmm. We can at least evolve it into the Quagsire to make it harder to KO. Oh, what did I do there? Whoops. Uh, to make it harder to KO. Yeah. And then we could... Mm, I don't want to take a switch, though. All right, let's... We could watch out. Yeah, that's true. We could just attack next turn. Um, when is rotation officially happening? I've got my tr uh, trade cards that are rotating like... Uh, zeal. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's in August. Pokemon Rotation 2019. I think it's August. Will not occur until... Okay, so the rotation is the 15th of August 2019, if I'm correct. I just just looked it up, so... Uh, do they live stream worlds on YouTube or any other... I think they live stream worlds on Twitch, right? They should live stream... I don't think they live stream the whole thing, because there's, like, multiple days of um, doing your games and stuff, and there's, like... A large amount of people. I know that for sure. <laughs> it world at world. So yeah, I don't think it's something that they'll do the whole thing. But I think when it comes to the finals and stuff for the Masters, they they, they stream that. All right, let's go crazy. Let's get the slow. Foot. We are definitely get the slow. Foot. With that, with this much draw support, I am so confident we're going to get a slow, uh, slow bro out. Now I'm not confident we're going to get a slow bro out. All right, let's get another Quaggy out. All right, this is kind of concerning. Um. This is a bit risky because rescue stretching these into the deck means I'm less likely to hit the slow bro here, but it's just <laughs> let's hoop. Come on. Oh, ditching those cards just feels bad. Okay. That is Gucci. And we got the wish for baton as well, so that's kind of dope. Slow bro time. Meme time! Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna do this. This is happening. This is happening. This is real. Please do not get six heads. Six tails, sorry. Six heads. Oh. Okay, that is a KO. I'm not even gonna... I'm not gonna bat an eye. That is a nice and easy KO. I guess his Slowbo is really dope against fire decks, obviously. So Reshivard and stuff. Two coin flips will just <laughs> whack 400 damage on the board. It's like, yeah, bye-bye. Ain't nothing stopping that. So they can definitely go for their Charizard this turn. But uh, we got the Articuno. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, Field Blow. God damn it. They really play that for real, man. You really gonna do that? God's sake. There we go. But yeah, let me go back to my point about the meta and stuff. Um, so yeah, yeah, decks like Shintaro's deck and stuff is really fun and cool to see. Because the format tends to stale itself out naturally through time. Um, so it's really good to see stuff like that coming into play. Think of it this way, right? If there was like a, a, a format as such where, let's say, if you combined the expanded format with the um, standard format, a lot of the standard format decks would just kind of melt away. And a lot of the expanded ones would just come through. And it would be, again, it would just become stale. Um, right, let's think. I guess the expanded format is standard and expanded combined. So ignore me. I don't know what my point is there. It's a completely irrelevant point. Um, but I think you see where I'm coming from at least. <laughs> Making myself sound like a complete idiot. All right, let's get Quagsire out. And then we can go for a Lily. Sweet. 
And we can at least attack with Articuno if we get one Aqua Patch. Although that's quite rare, because I think I've got two in a discard pile. So we do need to get an energy and an Aqua Patch, and we are good. Oh! Sweet! That's absolutely wonderful. There we are, Aqua Patch. Get the Articuno out and just take out this Charizard. That's good, good news. All right, and they can't Guzma our stuff out. Well, our Quags are out, so we know we're safe there. That's good. Do you think they will ever... Let's bring that here. Do you think they will ever convert worlds using actual cards to the online version to prevent cheating like has happened to players in fast? I don't think they will. Um, I genuinely don't think they will. Um, and I'm not sure why. I, there is a very valid reason that it's just not coming to mind now. I've had this, have a, I'm sorry, I've had the discussion with people before. Never punish, nah, not at all, mate, not at all. Um, we're going to go build a different deck now, but before I do that, let's answer the question. Um, no, I don't think they will. And there is genuinely a reason. It's just not coming to mind why um, they are not going to the, the video game. I think it's just, just the card game itself. It's the nature of the card game. I think the randomization of the game is a bit different online in comparison to the real card game. I think it's stuff like that. There's just, there'd just be some other issues, I think. Um, right. I think someone did ask for a deck, and I did say I was going to make it. So I'm just going back to see if I can find it. Um, or is there a deck that you guys would like me to do anyway now that I'm here? Let me know your thoughts. Um... There's water. I think this, someone did say a Blissey deck, right? <laughs> uh, have fun, Shane. <laughs> have fun. Uh, you still suffer shooting this time. I know, I'm bad. I'm sorry. Um, I think we do a Blissey deck. I don't know if I've got any Blissey. Easy. I can just trade for him. Bliss. Oh, Zach, what are you doing? What are you doing? Zach. Hmm. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Let's get... All right. Oh my lord, you are just stupid. What is this? Zach! Come on, man! You are just crazy. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my god. Zach, I don't know if I could do this, man. Oh, I'm not sure if I can do it. You are just an incredible human being. Like, seriously. I'm genuinely stunned. I'm genuinely stunned. Bro, you do not have to do this. I'm going to give you a second here. All right? To think about it. You do not have to do this. Not at all. Uh, so I'm going to give you a second. All right? Give you a second. Um, Pamela, how are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm going to give you a second to think about that one, Zach. <laughs> All right? Because that is, that, is, that is wild. You do not have to do that. Okay? I'm going to give you a second. Um, right, let's find this Blissey. Let's find this Blissey. Because we, we do want a Blissey deck, don't we? A Blissey Wilder deck would be really dope. It would be really fun. Oh, Zach. You are an absolute angel. A guardian angel of the, cha of, of cha of the channel. Um, an absolute guardian angel. And uh, you're going to get a huge set out <laughs> in today's video. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, Zach. I will take it. But if at any moment you need anything back, just let me know. Okay? Seriously. Just let me know. I will guarantee that I will give it back to you. Okay? Just letting you know here, you are an absolute legend. Okay? Just a straightforward legend. And I am extremely grateful. Extremely grateful for that. So, again any point you need any cards back please let me know they'll be here all right lord i am blessed by zach <laughs> all right let's let's get this um this blissy deck going see this is a weird thing i ask for these trades and they just they just don't work they just do not work not at all it's just this weird search i don't get it let's do blissy let's do blissy um sometimes you don't need to worry man you do not need to worry I think I have the stuff to trade for. I do have some packs that I can do to allow me to trade. Am I spelling Blissey right? Is that the problem? I am spelling it right. Thank you. All right, so let's get two Blissey. Uh, I think we had three, so we just need to get two. That's that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Let's do that. Right, let's do a Blessy Welder deck. This is going to be crazy. 
You know that, right? Because we could use... Oh, I'm just so excited. Oh, this could be a deck I'll make a video on as well. Um, I only want to find out who said Blissey. Because I want to give them a shout out in a video. Blissey, it was uh, Douglas. Douglas said it. All right. Douglas, I've got to remember that. Let me make a note quickly. Because I'm going to make a video on this deck as well. And I want to give you a relative shout out for giving me the idea. Douglas, what was it? Douglas. I'm hoping for that name. Goy? Goy? Um. All right. Let's build the Blissey boy. And thanks to Zach, we can get a lot more text done, man. Yes. Bless you, Zach. Bless you very much. <laughs> you are an absolute legend. Oh, I didn't have... Oh, I only have three of these. I think that'll be fine. I don't think we need the four. As long as we rescue Stretch, we'll be fine. Uh, Chansey. Here we go. Let's get a Chansey out. A Chansey, Chansey. Is it, is it weird that I call it Chansey? I think it's meant to be Chansey, isn't it? It's my accent. It's the British in me coming out. Zack. Zack, 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 Zack. Zack, 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 Zack. <laughs> Zack, I can't do this anymore. You're going to make my heart stop, man. You're going to make my heart stop, please. <laughs> All right, I'll, I will get to that. I will get to that. Let's let's build this first. Um, oh, my Lord. You just are an insane human being, and I, I, I love it. I genuinely appreciate it. Okay. I can't even focus right now. All right. Blissey, what, guys? Let me know. What are we putting in this Blissey deck? Whilst I leave you guys to think about that, I'm going to go to the trade by Zach and then... Um, and we'll do that. Santa Clara White Curium deck on the Discord. Sweet! Thank you, Isidro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, my God! <laughs> Zach, I'm going to say it again. If at any point you need any of these back... Please let me know. I know you don't play anymore, but if at any point you come back, just let me know, okay? Seriously, thank you. I'm stunned. I'm genuinely stunned by your generosity, and it's something that will definitely help in every way, shape, or form on this channel. So, seriously, again, thank you. Thank you. It's going to help out so much. It's just my dialect. I know. Wait, what? No, 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 no. You don't do this to me, man. I think Pokemon's sitting there going... You're getting a bit too much, a bit too quickly. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned. I'm just going to log you out. Um, any ideas, guys, for the Blissey? For the Blissey. And Zach, just one more time, thank you so much. Like, genuinely, thank you. It's going to help out more than I think you'd know. So, I genuinely appreciate it. Um, let's 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 go do the Blissey. I'm looking forward to the Blissey. All right, I think it's New Deck 46. What cards can be thrown in a Blissey deck? What fire type Pokemon could be utilized here? We could really go for... Oh, we could Arcanine it. Yeah, we could throw that for a Ditto. Arcanine would be a good tech to hit for weakness and bring energy back into play. That could work. Yeah, that's dope. What a legend. Guys, Zach is an absolute legend. Absolute legend. I think we can all agree, right? The Dene and Victini Prism Star. Yes, Victini Prism. Agreed, agreed. And the Dene. Also agreed. We could double the Dene here. Oh, we got four thanks to Zach. Oh, you are just an incredible person. All right. Um, I think that's that would work. With 20 bonds of unbroken unbroken bonds packs, what might I do? I would suggest trading for a deck. That's what I would suggest. I wouldn't suggest opening them. I'd suggest trading for a deck that could work for you. It depends on how good your collection is and stuff. If you've got a big collection, then you might want to open them up. But if you're struggling to build decks and stuff, I'd say trade them for a deck that is worth 20 packs. It might just be a cheap deck. Um, but you can find some really good cheap decks on my channel um, and other places as well. Jirachi. Jirachi could work... That would require a lot of switch stuff, though. Can you do the Spiritomb deck? So the one that I did yesterday, I assume. Um, I will use both Triple Acceleration and Welder, Eduardo. I will use both. I will use both. I'm pretty confident in that. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go one to Denny. I think this Salazzle is really going to help with consistency, so I'm fine with that. And let's go with that for now. Oh, you meant the other Victini. Well, the other Victini is uh, not really going to work, I think, because I think the other Victini does 20 damage each basic bench. So this is an evolution, so I don't think it'll work very well. Um, right, let's just get these welders in. We're going to do the deck that just draws like crazy. Um, like that. 
And we're going to get a heat factory as well. Get that in there. Um, what else? What else? What else works? What else works with this deck? Oh, do you know what really works in here as well? Marsh Shadow works really well because um, you could Marsh Shadow and then use Salazzle and stuff. So you could really force your opponent to a bad hand. Um, Oranguru. I don't think we need Oranguru because, unless you're talking about the recovery Oranguru, because we have the Salazzle to draw. So I think so long as we have a lot of fire energy, we'll be in a good spot. Um, I also think that Fiery Flint is going to be good. We'll throw two of them in there. Crystal, Fire Crystal is good as well. We'll throw two, maybe three of them. I'm not sure. Maybe three. Recovery is going to be so important. So I guess three. What other fire support do we have that I've probably not realized? Ah, Blazar Stan. That would be cool. Maybe we could throw one of them in there. Again, just Zach's incredible donation. You can play this card only as the last card in your hand. Draw two cards to each Pokemon, five Pokemon you have in play. Okay, that might not work so well, considering we're playing Blissey, but that would have been fun to throw in. Um, okay, why am I not in exclusively extended? We could Kiawe. Yeah, we could Kiawe. Let's, let's, let's mess around with Kiawe a little bit. That would be dope. In that case, I think Lele would be more useful than Dedene. So let's... Oh, you give me this one. Oh, you're so... Oh, every time I sit there and I just see this, I get so excited. Thank you, Zach, so much. Um, yeah, we could Lele for a turn on Kiawe. That could be possible. But we're not going to rely on the Kiawe play, I guess, would be what I'm saying. Um, there we are. So that's a lot of draw support already. Um... We can mess around with Tate and Liza. <laughs> Tate and Liza again. Oh. Uh, wish your baton so you don't lose all energy. Yep, wish your baton. Agreed, agreed, agreed. One, two, three. Again, we're going to stuff this deck and then chop it down slowly. Um, he meant Victini uh, victory starving. Oh, victory star Oh, you're memeing, huh? Oh, wait. You're so right. It's a coin flip deck, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. In that case, we might need to cut. Maybe we cut the Arcanine. Maybe we cut the... Oh, we do need Flip Teeny, don't we? I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, did I really type Flip Teeny? <laughs> oh, God, I'm an idiot. We do need that. We do need that. That's a lot of Pokemon, man. I might have to cut the Arcanine. I don't want to cut the Salazzle. It's just too consistent. Um, let's see how that works. All right, do that. You are right. You are right, Pamela. You are correct. Um, <laughs> I can see all of you like Victini. Victini. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, I added Victini. Uh, Wish for Baton. Sweet. Um, we need our search. So we need our nest balls. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I just keep seeing these cards that I'm not used to having. Thank you again. Um, Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball. Uh huh. We need, we need Guzma. Guzma. Uh, we might have to stick with two, you know. We do we do want a lot of energy. Um, so we've got, we've got a lot of search, which is good. We've got fire recovery. We've got consistency. Uh, maybe a timeable would be would, would be efficient. Um, I think this is looking pretty pretty good. Pretty good. I'm quite happy with this already. So we have welders, taking lizers. For switch options. Oh, although I'd rather just add switches. We need switches, right? Not necessarily. We just need the skateboards. So maybe we do that instead. And go for 12 fire. Let's see how this runs. Let's see how this runs. I'm pretty confident in this. Well, no, we can't do 12 fire. We need to do 8 fire and... We need to go for a... Mm, this is going to be tough. Because even DCE is going to be good in this deck. Which means we need to even reduce it further. To... I don't want four. I want eight. That's a lot of energy, man. Um, This deck is tight. This deck is real tight. We're going to cut the QR ways. Um, Let's just not do that. Uh, I think we cut a, we could cut the Mars Shadow, Rescue Stretcher, you're right, I did mention that, didn't I? Um, in that case, we could probably cut 
the fire crystal. Hmm. I'm not too keen. Maybe the fiery flint. And go for a stretcher. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, we got this. <laughs> All right. That's the list. Let's roll with it. Uh, we're going to call it Blissful Blaze. Aha. That's perfectly cringy. Exactly down my alley. Let's go. Exactly down my alley. All right. Let's play this game because I do need to end the stream soon, unfortunately. A skateboard for... So that's for the Salazzles and the Victinis. So just allow free retreat. Basically, imagine like a float stone. I know we're not particularly in that format anymore, but... Um, I still think it is pretty good. Uh, right. Blah, 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 blissful blaze. There we go. Nice cringe. Cut welder. No, welder would be extremely critical in this deck. Because welder would allow us to really accelerate our damage output. Because if you can just welder and triple colorless... Uh, triple... Triple colors, triple, triple energy. Um, that's five energy. That's five coin flips. And I don't even know what five times 80 is. In fact, I probably do, but I just can't be asked to do it. <laughs> so let's go for this and see how this one runs. This would be really cool. Really, really cool. Alrighty. What are we up against? A Ray Ray? That's interesting. Kind of a bog standard hand, not going to lie. But if we get a land it down, that's good. So we need an ultra ball to get ourselves drawing pretty comfortably. Which is nice. Um, now I'm contemplating that Victini Prism Star. Because the max damage we can do is 160 with it. Which is good. But like that's max damage. Perfectly cringy. New slogan. <laughs> In indeed. Indeed. Indeed it is. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, consistency first, guys. Consistency always comes first. So we're just going to attach here. And we're just going to pass. I highly doubt they have a KO on us. So I'm not going to attach the Whistle Baton. I'm not going to attach the Whistle Baton. 400. 400 what? What, am I missing something? Hang on. Uh, Welder, Welder. No, 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 no. Jirachi could have worked well in this deck, actually. But you'd have to cut that instead of the Slazzles. I would say. Right. Oh, we're playing a good old uh, week of all, eh? All right, let's do this. I'm down. I'm down for this game. Should be fun. I want to see how powerful this Blissy deck is. It has so much potential, it's crazy. Um, now, awkwardly, I might have to discard the Wishful Baton, <laughs> which I don't want to do. But uh, I want to use Salazzle to draw. So I want to get a Salazzle right now, and I want to attach this because that's like a must. Um, and if I discard this, I can't use Salazzle to draw. So it's 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 risky, but we're going we're gonna to do it. I could just Lele and uh, Welder, I guess. Or go for a Cynthia. I think that'd be a, a smarter play now that I think about it. Let's play Zach's Lele. Here we go. All right. Did I not add my Cynthia? I'm an idiot. All right, let's go for this. And uh, hopefully we can just get a better hand. So that way we don't have to rely on a Salazzle. So I think that was the better play. <laughs> yeah, definitely the better play. Here we go. Just go in and we are going to absolutely destroy it. We, we need two heads and we get a chance to flip three coins. Six coins, sorry. So we're going to flip again. Come on. <laughs> heads. Oh, that's a shame. Only eight damage. Yep. Eduardo, you read my mind, buddy. Read my mind. Read my mind. Get the Lele. Get the Lele. Let's not be silly. All right. Next turn, we have even more coin flippage, which is good. But we do need to... <laughs> Hopefully top the fire energy or something or get a flint or something because we need we need Salazzle draw right here, man. We need Salazzle draw for certain. Let's see what they got going. Oh, they just got a quit. Sure thing. All right, let's let's roll another one. Let's roll another one and see how that goes. So that was an okay start on the deck. Uh, we did get a turn two attack, which is pretty good. And we did get some critical cards out. So that's a pretty good start. So the deck is functioning so far so good, I would say. But let's let's just keep going and see how it goes. Boa Boa, huh? What is this deck? I see lightning, I see dry, I see dragon. This is definitely Picaron. Oh, oh. We don't even we didn't even get the chance to put Shrine in, but it's really not Shrine's not really needed. This deck's like just all powerhouse, right? Wow, that's a that that's a hand of there is one, I tell you. That is a that's quite the hand. Just give me an energy. Just give me an energy. Let me water. 
Let me wild out. Or give me an ultra ball. I'll, I'll happily Lele. Maybe Lily should be in this deck for our turn one supporter. Hmm. I've got to think about that. All right. What do we get? Okay. That's something. Okay. There we go. That's, that's better. That's better. Let's get the uh, consistency first, guys. Consistency first. Let's get rid of a Chansey and an Escape Board and get a uh, Lele. Let's do that. Because this Wilder ain't doing nothing right now, so. We can bench the Victini, I guess. But I'm kind of tight for debt for bench space. I don't really want to. So let's Cynthia see what we get. Now that's looking juicy. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Already. We actually got the Victini as well, which is kind of why I didn't want to do it, but sure. All right, let's do that. And we could, we could, we could nest ball. Um, could we nest ball for probably a ditto? Yeah, let's do that. That's worthwhile. All right, sweet. Next turn, we have an explosive attack. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I'm a stupid. I'm a stupid. Should have nest board for the Victini. So that's my bad. That is my bad. However, we have a ton of coin flips thanks to triple acceleration energy next turn. So we're fine. We'll be fine. I'm sure that won't just completely ruin the rest of the game for me. <laughs> yeah. That was a misplay on my part. I'm not going to lie. Oh, what we have against here? Malamar. Is it? Oh, is it Malamar Gratina? Why is there a dragon Pokemon in here? What dragon Pokemon plays in Malamar? Oh, it's Necrozma. Oh, okay. So it is Giratina Malamar, but it's Ultra Necrozma. Okay. All right. I thought it was Pikachu, but clearly not. Clearly not. It's a weird spread version of the deck. Regardless, if they do get an Ultra Necrozma out, which I doubt because they see what deck we are. We are so, yeah. Militina, Militina, Militina. Yep, that's exactly what I meant. Giratina Malamar is quite a hard deck to play against. I'm not gonna lie, it's just so self-sufficient. It's kind of concerning. All right. Um. Let's guarantee the highest odds of a knockout here. Hmm. 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 There we go. There we go. There we are. Sweet. We'll just get the KO. Um, I didn't ultra ball there. Because there's nothing I can really ultra ball for to get me out of my hand. Um, I can't get another Lele or something. Uh, the Salazzle wouldn't help because there's no fire energy in my hand to work with. Um, yeah, I just think that's where we're at, to be honest. I did not even notice that Blissey has 160 HP. Oh, God. This, this deck is tanky. This deck is tanky. <laughs> yeah, this deck is definitely just... There's so much potential with Blissey, but I think... Fine-tuning it is going to be the real tough part of this deck. Similar to how Malamar was, right, when Malamar was released. Malamar was like, there's, there's infinite potential, but there's just, you just can't figure out how. Do you think Raichu GX with the promo Pikachu would work in current meta? The promo Pikachu, is that the one with 60 HP? Or am I thinking of the Nuzzle? Are you talking about the Nuzzle? I don't think so, I'm afraid. And the reason why is because... I think it's just because the damage output of Raichu is just too low in comparison to what this current format is looking for, if you know what I mean. That's what I think the issue is. I think that you can get a lot of good energy into play, but it just won't work out. All right, welder time. Uh, let's welder to a benched Chansey. Um, oh, there we go. And I kind of have to do this. This feels bad, but I want to. I want to get Fliptini up, man. I can't mess. I can't mess around with that stuff. We got to get Fliptini going. Um, it could work, but I just think the damage output is just a little too shy. Okay, that's enough. That's one sixty. Sweet. Um, when I when I think about it, right? Because I have tried so hard to make Raichu GX work, and it is just. It's just one step behind Rayquaza, and Rayquaza can do a similar thing, right? Um, in fact, Rayquaza can do a lot of a lot of acceleration on its own. And with that, there is now the Greninja Zorak. Obviously, there's the extra prize um, that you lose for it getting KO'd, but it has so many roots of accelerating energy that Raichu doesn't. And the thing with Nuzzle Pikachu is, is it's an attack. So when you use an attack to accelerate energy, it's a it makes the deck a lot slower. 
Whereas if you use, let's say, for example, Rayquaza can accelerate itself with Coco and stuff like that. Um, and obviously, I know Raichu can as well. Um, and Greninja Zora can accelerate itself with Sharpedo and Naganado. That, which again, I know Naganado and Raichu can as well. It's just something that using the nozzle attack is quite risky, I'd say. Because it does slow the deck down. It gives your opponent a lot more time to set up as well. And this format is rapid. Um, and I think it's going to continue to be rapid even post-rotation. So, But I think um, it's going post-rotation, isn't it, Raichu? But it's still a fun deck to play anyway. And it can work. And uh, I think Energy Switch would work, uh, would work as well in that as, uh, work as well with that. But yeah, Eduardo has got the right idea. With um, Wish of Tom, Rayquaza, and Coco, it can be something valuable. Oh, they're getting greedy, huh? Oh, they're going straight for the greed. All right, sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. See, this, this is where it just works with Giratina. It is just now, at this point, completely self-sufficient. <laughs> it can just charge itself up. Bang, bang, bang. Good to go, right? All right, uh, let's... Let's uh, play another game. Let's get another Chansey down. There we go. Let's go for that. Oh, we could Fiery Flint here. And that seems kind of fun. So let's do that. Get rid of the Guzma. Sweet. Now I see I really didn't need to do that. But sure, let's, do, let's just do it. We'll thin our deck down. All right, powerful slap. Slap him in the face, buddy. Go on. Two heads is all we need. Sweet. There we go. Nope. Settled 160. Bang, bada bang, bada boom, bada bang. All right, sweet. Okay, um, we need a welder. Oh, sweet! We got it! Wonderful. We could weld out and DCE and just go for crazy damage. We don't need to, but we can. Um, yeah, Raichu is rotating as well. Unfortunately, it's just not as good as uh, a good investment right now. Turbo Machamp and Marshadow with Miss Magus Welder. Rainbow Brush. Rainbow Brush? Hmm? Martial Arts Dojo and Choice Ban. Rainbow Brush. Doesn't Rainbow Brush just switch in energy... For a different type of energy, is that right? So how would that work? Turbo Machamp and Marshadow with Miss Magius. Well done. Ah, well done. Hmm. That's true. That is very true. That could work. Uh, Captain. <laughs> or Captain. Uh, it could work. But that's a lot of cards to put together. And a lot of things to hit at once. Hello, Pamela. You finished dinner. Oh my gosh. Um... You missed us absolutely destroying this deck and continuing to destroy it. Obviously, right? I'm just the best. <laughs> um, yeah, but it could work, but it is there is a lot of stuff to piece together there. Because if you welder, you're only drawing three cards, so you do need other stuff to help with draw power. Um, oh, wow, they're going to start getting some good KOs soon, man. I'm kind of worried. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we don't need to welder here, but I'm going to. <laughs> Let's do it. Sweet. And I don't mind attaching the DCE here to this. I really want to evolve this thing. And it ain't going to happen. Yikes! Um, should I have benched that? I don't think so. Alright, let's powerful slap again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. No, we're not going to do it again. Yeah, so... Turbo Machamp, Marshadow, Miss Magius, Welder. You could do that, but it would take a lot of stuff. Will you ever do a fan meetup in England one day? We'd love to meet you in person. Maybe, maybe, maybe so. I might. I'm thinking about it. I don't think I'm at the level now where it would be too worthwhile, but I think definitely in the future it'd be something I'd love to do. I'd love to meet you guys. That'd be so cool. Uh, maybe when I go to an event or something and I just arrange my own little event there. So if I go to a tournament or something, because I really want to go to real life tournaments. That just sounds so fun. So if I go to a tournament or if I go to just another event, like I like going Comic-Con, so I'll always be at Comic-Con. Um, maybe counter energy, energy and rainbow. The issue of counter energy, though, is counter energy would, wouldn't would work on the Marshad and Machamp because obviously it's a GX. So that would be a problem. Um, as I said, it would take a lot of work, but it, that, that idea in itself has potential, I would say. Definitely say that. All right, let's go for the Cynthia. I don't mind just manually attaching. I just want to evolve that ditto. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Listen to my press. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, in that sense, we can just fire crystal here. And I don't mind ultra balling away a fire energy and a nest ball and getting another slazzle. Now, I don't want to draw. Okay, not another slazzle. Maybe not. Okie dokie. Maybe I should have evolved this. 
I was too hesitant there. Sorry, too quick to do that. All right, uh, let's do that. And I think we have to be careful now. We are getting very close to, you know, not having any cards left. But this deck is just functioning like an absolute beaut. It's incredible. Oh, we're just averaging out perfect 160 every single turn. Beware of the Sky Scorching Light. You are correct. The Sky Scorching Light is going to destroy me. So far, they're getting two KOs on the Sky Scorching Light, right? They're not getting anything else. Oh, unless. Unless. Oh, they can do it. If they Giratina, oh, they can get the Sky Scorching Light. You are correct. We are not safe right now. So much as I can do, though. Not that I think about. I don't think there's anything I could stop do to stop the Sky Scorching Light. If they have the energy, they've pretty much got it. With the Giratina, they've got it. If I'm correct. That's that down. That is... The Giratina would make this go down, right? And it would make this go down. Oh, 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 oh. they have just hit it. They got it. They have got it. Oh, wait. No, what are you doing? You didn't give a Tina, but... Oh, wait. They got it anyway. <laughs> I'm an idiot. They got it. Yeah, the Sky Scorcher Light has come in and just decimated us. Man, I'm so not used to coming up against that attack. Uh, Pamela, you had it. You had it. You had the idea before me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, man. But yeah, see, that deck, that deck is going to... I'm guaranteed that deck will be good post-rotation. I'm just going to claim it here. Zach, did you send enough? <laughs> you haven't, man. Oh, God. All right. Um... Yes, I know you sent me. You said you forgot a few cards. Ah, uh, Lord, you are just... You forgot a few! <laughs> you amaze me. You continue to amaze me. Um, it's incredible. Again, I am going to reiterate the same point, Zach. Any point you need him in return, just please let me know. You are, in, you are just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And uh, you have blessed this channel with everything it needs. So thank you so much, genuinely. Oh, Lord. Um, with that said, I think I am going to end the stream there. Definitely. Um, I think that was a really nice stream uh, and a really fun one. I thank you all for coming down. It's been really fun. been really good um, to do. And I hope you had a good time as well uh, with making decks and stuff. And I think I will definitely uh, get back to it as well. <laughs> yeah, a few. I know, right? I know. Uh, with that said, uh, thank you so much for, as I said, joining, contributing. Thank you again, Zach, for donating and being so generous as much as you have. And everyone else, of course, for their ideas on deck building. Um, but yeah, I think today will be the Greninja Zorak list. So be looking out for that one. And that will be in your sub boxes tonight, probably. Give me that mud break. <laughs> I'll give you that mud break. I'll give you that mud break. There you go. There you are. You got the mud break. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I know, Pamela, sorry for uh, ending it so abruptly after you coming back, but uh, I do need to go. Uh, maybe another stream some point this week. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll leave you guys to it. Thank you so much for, for sticking by uh, and peace.